one should always do a bit of charity, especially to holy men, priests and men of God. Of course, Your Majesty, we should keep the priests, sadhus and saints happy as they are the ones who help us get what we want from God. I never fail to feed the priests and sadhus and also donate a lot of clothes, grains and money to them. I also visit all the holy temples and saints' memorials regularly. I even spent a lot of money for the upkeep of these memorials. After all, the saints and priests are the ones who are closest to God and can help reach our prayers to Him. Birbal, don't you agree with us? Why are you so quiet? I am sorry, Your Majesty. I don't agree with you. How can you not agree in this matter? After all, the whole world looks up to priests and sadhus and throng the saints' memorials. So many thousands get their prayers answered in these places. Yes, Your Majesty, there is a limit how far should one go just to be a little different. I mean hundreds of thousands of people the world over visit saints' memorials with prayers in their hearts and get their wishes fulfilled. It is all because of the saints and the enlightened people that these miracles happen. Yes. Absolutely true. Your Majesty, I think it is because of a person's faith that these miracles happen and not because of the holy men. Faith? How can just faith be more powerful than the holy men? Yes, Your Majesty, faith alone is not strong enough to grant us our wishes. Birbal, you are being very illogical. Faith cannot be more powerful than the holy men. Your Majesty, I firmly believe it is the faith people have in holy people, saints and places which is actually faith in the supreme being that grants them the wishes and not the holy place itself or the holy people. All right, Birbal. That is enough. I don't want to hear any more of this blasphemous talk. You shall have to prove what you have said to me or else you will publicly apologize to everyone here for your blasphemous talks. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, for having upset you. Please believe me when I say I didn't mean any disrespect to any of the saints or holy men. I shall definitely prove to you that it is faith which is the strongest. But I shall need about two months to do so. Two months? Well, all right. You can have your two months. But I don't think you can prove yourself right even if you try for two or twenty or even two hundred years. So do be ready to accept defeat this time, Birbal. Thank you, Your Majesty, for bearing with me. I apologize once again for having upset you. Sevakram. Yes, sir. Sevakram, I want you to find some people who shall build a temple for me on the banks of the Yamuna River. A temple, sir? Yes, a temple. Tell the people working on the temple to do a very good job. It need not be a big one. A small one will do. But it should look good and should be ready in a month. A month, sir? We shall need more people to do it. And which deity do you wish to install in this temple, sir? Employ as many people as needed. As I said, it need not be a big one, but it should be ready in a month's time. As for the deity... I hope the temple meets your expectations, sir. It's perfect. You've done a good job. Thank you. Now we need to put some good things about the temple in people's mind. I want you to start gossiping about this temple and its powers. Appoint a priest for this temple and tell him very strictly that the deity of this temple is not to be seen by anyone. The door to the deity's room shall always be kept closed. In fact, to create an aura for this place, let's call it the Temple of the Locked Deity. Temple of the Locked Deity? Sir, it is perfect. The name itself will create a lot of curiosity and an aura around the temple. 
Yes, yes. I want you to talk about this temple to anybody and everybody. Make up stories of miracles that have occurred here. Tell people about the powers of praying at this temple. How all wishes are granted if one prays here. I am sure the reputation of this temple shall spread far and wide. As you wish, sir. I shall begin right away. I know the biggest gossip mongers in the market. I shall need to put this in their ears and they will spread it to everybody in no time at all. Perfect. So get on with it. Hurry. The news of the temple of the locked deity and its powers spread like wildfire. People started visiting the temple in increasing numbers. Your Majesty, have you visited the temple of the locked deity? Temple of the locked deity? No, I haven't heard about it. Your Majesty, hundreds and thousands of people have visited the temple and have got their wishes granted. The deity is very powerful and if one prays in the temple, he gets whatever he asks for. Really? Then I must visit this temple. There's a battle waging on our western front and I want to ask God for victory of our forces. Birbal, have you heard about this temple? Is what they say true? Yes, Your Majesty. I have heard about this temple. Though I haven't been there myself yet, I did hear about several miracles happening at the temple though. You sound skeptical, Birbal. You still have to prove to us that faith is the strongest. Or have you forgotten? In fact, why don't you come with us to this temple? Maybe we can prove it to you that faith is not the strongest. Certainly, Your Majesty. I shall be delighted to come along with you. All right. Let's visit this temple tomorrow itself. There you are, Birbal, right in front of you. The power of the place. It has attracted so many followers and worshippers. Well, yes, Your Majesty, it certainly looks like it. Yes, I just hope and pray my wish for the victory is granted by the locked deity of this temple. Your Majesty, I bring good news. Our forces have defeated the armies in the West and the king has surrendered. There, there you are, Birbal. The power of this place. My wish hardly left my lips and it has been fulfilled. What more proof do you need? Well, Your Majesty, I still think it is the faith in this place rather than the place itself which is responsible for all the miracles and the wishes coming true. Birbal, how can you be so adamant? Even after witnessing the most genuine proof of the power of this place, I shall not hear another word from you. I want you to never show me your face again. I am very disappointed with you. O oh, locked deity of this temple, please put mercy in the emperor's heart so he forgives me. So there. Now you are using the power of this place to ask for your heart's desire. Admit defeat now, Birbal. I shall, your majesty, if you will bear with me for just some time. Sukhdeo Singh ji. If you don't mind, please enter the temple and open the door to the deity's room and then carry the deity back to us. Don't worry, Your Majesty. It won't be sacrilege. You shall see yourself in a minute. I know because it was I who built this temple. You? You? I don't understand, Birbal. I shall explain everything in a moment, Your Majesty. Sukhdev Singh Ji, if you would please bring the deity back. That... 
that's my favorite vase. The one the Chinese traveler gifted me. It's been missing for so many days from my bedside table. Yes, Your Majesty. I apologize. I had to borrow it for a few days. I shall now explain all to you. So I guess I need not give you further proof of the power of faith, Your Majesty. Very well done, Birbal. Bravo. You were absolutely right, as usual, Birbal. Faith is the strongest emotion. It is more powerful than any place or being. But now, what about the temple of the locked deity? What's to become of it now? Why not turn it into a free lodging facility for pilgrims and tourists visiting our city? Excellent idea, Birbal. Bravo. Bravo, Birbal. Bravo. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you.